Honolulu police believe a string of smash-and-grab robberies that have targeted small businesses on Oahu are connected. Police say more than a dozen of these incidents have occurred in just the last two months. KITV 4's Jeremy Lee joins us now with tonight's top story. Jeremy. Mika and Rick, police are urging business owners to take more preventative measures after a string of break-ins that began in Oahu in April. HPD did not release much information today on the suspects, but police do believe one or more connected groups are behind this wave of robberies. Smash and grab robberies across Oahu have tallied to about a dozen in the last two months, according to HPD. The perpetrators are similar in that they're attired in such a way that we can't identify them. So that means at this point, we've made no arrests. But as I had mentioned, we are pursuing viable investigative leads. Restaurants in Kapolei, Hawaii Kai, and Aina Haina have been hit. The thieves causing only wanton destruction at restaurants like Aina Haina Chop Sui as they didn't have any money in the till overnight. It was just boarded up and it said uh, was broken into last night in big letters. And then two or three days later, at the most, a couple days later, another one. I hadn't expected it in this very nice looking place. Leonard's here at the Windward Mall in Kaneohe changed their hours to close earlier, and KITV noticed more staff on scene. That's after this incident in late April, in which men with guns and body armor broke into the Malasada truck as two workers were closing up. Both workers have since quit. A customer who grew up locally told us. To have something like that here in Hawaii is something we thought of you know, a while ago, that just the mainland type of uh, certain situation. But yeah, it's terrible to think that things like that is happening here now. HPD and Crime Stoppers are still seeking tips. The police would not go into specifics. They say there may be a connection. One or more groups are working together and possibly using stolen vehicles. HPD says business owners should take precautions. Safeguard your assets, so um, bank the cash daily or uh, use a safe that's bolted to the ground. HPD was tight-lipped as to the details in this investigation. Police called the press conference, yet were unwilling to answer at the time of the press conference and after in response follow-up emails just how many of these smash-and-grab style break-ins have taken place this year. Reporting live, Jeremy Lee, KITV4 Island News tonight.